Yeah. If the Pythagorean theorem works, those are right triangles. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess you could just do that, and then it's a no if it's not. I am so not Yeah, so does six squared. Now, if one of them is the hypotenuse, which one is it going to be? A nine. A nine. So does six squared plus eight squared equal nine squared? No. No. Actually, uh, six, eight, and ten. So it's a hundred. That's not equal to eighty-one. Six, eight, ten make a right triangle, not six, eight, nine. Sounds acute. You just say no. Yeah, actually, since our book said acute and stuff, let's do that. So if c squared is too small, if the hypotenuse was too small, it's acute. So you don't want to. Yeah, instead of yes or no, let's go ahead and do the other kind where we say obtuse right or, or acute. Yes, sir. So if c squared is too small, it's, it's acute. All right, so on three, how would we set that one up? Three, right? It's the same thing. Plus six squared plus eight squared. Oh, I kind of accidentally set that one. Does six squared plus eight squared equal ten squared? Well, these are actually the same numbers over here. It does. It's a 6A10. 6A10. I kind of accidentally said that one. So it is a what triangle? Uh, it's, right. it's a right triangle. Can I just put yes? Pythagorean theorem only works yeah. on right triangles. Okay, five, we might actually need the calculator for that. Six point, so C is the largest, so that would be the hypotenuse. Does six point four squared plus 12 squared, uh, there's no way these are equal, equal 12.2 squared. What did the two sides come out as? Um, 184.96. 184.96? Yeah. And then, um, 148. So it would be obtuse, because one side is Okay, no. That's, C squared is too small. Oh, C squared is, yeah. C squared is too small, so it's acute again. So you kind of think of it relative to the c squared side. If c squared is too big, it's obtuse, because remember obtuse was a big angle. It's because on the triangle, if your hypotenuse is too big, that makes this angle big. Okay, number seven is just, oh shoot. I thought they were going to change it up a little bit, but they didn't. These are all, they're all just, mi <laughs> they're all just missing the hypotenuse. Oh, well, that's all right. Oh, no. Well, when we go to the test and it's changes, are you going to get it wrong? I don't know. I promise. Yeah, we'll review it on Monday. Okay. So it's just 4 squared plus 8 squared equals x squared. Actually, I'm going to make you guys, I'll do the first one, I'll make you guys do the rest. So, 16 plus 64 is 80. 80. So, what do I do at this point? Wait, and to the nearest tenth means no square root of the sign, right? To the nearest tenth means they want the decimal version. I oh, okay. kind of want to... Well, the answer sheet's going to have decimals, though. That's the problem. Well, I prefer the square root version most the most things. Just use your calculator. Right, I can use my calculator, but I like to, it's, it's easier for my brain to comprehend. It's not like, it doesn't decimal. decimal. Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and find the, we'll go ahead and follow the directions. Just for easiness on the Holy goodness, I hate that. Uh, well, that's got to be like 9.0 or 8.9, because... So it's round to the tenth place, which means the first decimal place. Greater. 
Does everybody know how to change your square root answers into a decimal oh, in your calculator? There's a STD. Okay. Yeah. There's a little, I'm guessing that stands for like standard to decimal or something. I don't know. Yeah. Fraction. That'd be fraction to decimal. Yeah. But these aren't really fractions, so it still works. It still works. Yeah. Huh? We're gonna grade uh, these three worksheets. The uh, 